Greetings, it's Hawken with Top Don coming to you again with another technical video. Today we're going to talk about guided functions. What are guided functions, I'm sure, is what you're asking. Well, Volkswagen and Audi use guided functions as a step-by-step -step walkthrough for various procedures. This can consist of relearn procedures, service procedures, or a number of other things as well. Now, the benefit of your Top Don Pro Series tool is that the guided functions that Volkswagen and Audi puts into their factory scan tool are largely found on your Top Don tool as well. Now, what does this mean for you as a user? As a user, you will be able to perform many functions that the factory scan tool would normally perform, and the Top Don Pro Series tool will hold your hand and walk you through those procedures automatically. Now, Many other scan tools out there do not do this with Volkswagen and Audi. Uh, there are many popular tools that do not support this function, and that makes performing some of these procedures much more challenging because you don't know what steps you need to take in order to complete the function. So today on the Top Don Phoenix Smart, we're going to demonstrate how to perform a guided function. We'll show you how to access this on the tool, and we'll show you how you walk through the procedure uh, as we go through it. So, without further ado, as you can see here, we've got the Phoenix Smart in a vehicle and everything is connected. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to auto scan the vehicle. Alright, so we're in our topology screen here. Now, in this particular circumstance, we do not need to pre-scan the vehicle to access guided functions. So, you'll see guided functions are right up in the top right of the screen here uh, on the white banner. So, we'll switch to this screen so you can see Guided functions are right here. Now, you want to keep your eyes on this banner here. Uh, we do put a lot of features and functions uh, as a shortcut right here. Now, a couple other things you want to keep in mind whenever you're going to perform any basic settings, adaptations, guided functions, or anything of that nature on your Volkswagen or Audi. We do need to make sure that we have a steady power supply connected to the vehicle. Now, that is not a conventional battery charger. That would be a power supply style charger like the Top Don T30000. Or the Top Don T90000. These particular chargers hold your amp or hold your voltage rock steady at a set threshold, and then they vary the amount of amperage that they supply to verify that the vehicle voltage stays stable throughout the entire process that you're performing. So again, we want to make sure to use one of these style power supplies as opposed to a conventional charger when we are performing these functions. Now, if you are in a situation where you have not been able to purchase one of these chargers as of yet, you can run jumper cables from one vehicle to another and that will suffice to hold the voltage steady in some circumstances. Again, that is not the recommended course of action, but you can do that if you are in a desperate situation and cannot get a power supply charger on your vehicle. So we're going to go to guided functions here. And once we're into guided functions, you'll see we have some different choices. The tool is going to scan the vehicle, verify all of the different modules, the first thing we need to do is verify which engine we have. Now, if you're not familiar with Volkswagen at Audi, they actually put a sticker, typically right on the engine, uh, somewhere near the engine block that will identify which engine it is. And typically the sticker will only show the first three digits of the engine designation. So you'll want to look for that. Otherwise, there are a number of other ways that you can find out this information about your engine designation. Uh, there is a website called PartsLink24 that you can subscribe to on a daily or monthly or yearly basis that will allow you to decode all of the information about your Volkswagen or Audi, uh, as well as a number of other European vehicles. So recommend that website if you are looking to get uh, parts, pictures, details on which equipment your vehicle has, and things of that nature. So we've identified this is the 2-liter non-turbo CBPA engine. So now it takes us to this screen here. So we have a number of different options. We have special functions, we have fault list, things like this. 
This is essentially a similar menu to some of the things you would see on the factory scan tool. So which guided functions we have access to is dependent on what vehicle we're working on. So we're going to click on engine electronics for this video and we'll move our little recording head out of the way here. We can see that guided functions is one of the options that we have available. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now we see the different guided functions that this particular vehicle and uh, control unit have available for us to control. So we are going to do the engine control throttle valve. So adapting throttle valve control module. That's the function we are going to do. Now you'll also notice one other one which is an extremely useful to, uh, particular function for Volkswagen and Audi, especially if you are a service technician working in a state that does emissions testing. Generate a readiness code is actually a function you can execute with the scan tool that will allow you to run the vehicle, all of the OBD monitors manually in the service bay without having to drive the vehicle. So this is something that's tremendously useful in an emissions testing state. So keep that one in mind for future reference. Again, Generate Readiness Code is an excellent tool for any vehicles where you are in an emissions testing state and you need to verify that the entire system is intact and functioning correctly. Again, you can execute this function in the bay as opposed to having to drive the vehicle. But today, we're going to do the throttle valve. So, when we do the throttle valve, we're going to click on Adapting Throttle Valve. Now, it takes us to this screen. and We're going to go back and look at the tool on the vehicle as it's going to ask us for some various things. So we're going to say switch the ignition on is the first thing the tool asks us to do, so we'll do that. We can see our voltage is nice and steady at 13.85. We'll toggle back here so you can see that. So we can see 13.85 is a steady voltage. So we're going to hit continue and complete. Now it's asking us to turn off the ignition for two seconds and then back on again. So I'm going to go over to the vehicle and I'm going to switch off the ignition for just a moment. Okay, so we've got our ignition off. Okay, now our ignition is back on. All right, so our ignition is back on. Now, we're going to hit continue. Now, sometimes it'll tell you this error if you try to do this. You can disregard this error. If we click repeating, it will continue to do the procedure. Otherwise, we can also try continue. Usually, I just try repeating. So we'll give it a moment here. So if we listen real careful, we can actually hear the adaptation taking place. The throttle body actually moves, so you will hear some noises happening under your hood. Clicking, clacking, things of that nature. That's totally normal. Now it's asking us to turn off the ignition. The control unit is going to store the adaptation. So now we're going to turn it off. Now you'll hear the throttle body move a few more times after we switch off the ignition. Again, this is the control unit saving the adaptation to its memory. Now we get a confirmation that the throttle body has been successfully adapted to the engine control module. So this procedure has been successful. Now we can go and hit continue complete and we have completed the function. So you can see the tool walks you through the steps. Sometimes it's a little bit weird if we look at that, how it asked us to do the procedure and then gave us that error code. But when we said repeat and we, tell, we told it to continue doing the function, then it completes the function and works normally. So occasionally you may get some messages like that that seem confusing. Go ahead and attempt to complete the procedure again like we did and most of the time you will not have any issues. This particular functionality is built into all of the Top Don Pro Series tools, so keep that in mind for future reference. You will find great value in having access to this on your tool. You do need to have internet access in order to access the guided functions, as the scan tool must download a file before it executes any of the guided functions. So again, we need to make sure our tool is connected to the internet, we need to make sure that we have a steady power supply connected to the vehicle before beginning any procedures. And 
we need to make sure that we have service information for the vehicle so we understand how the procedure is meant to be performed in conjunction with the directions that are provided by the scan tool software. So I appreciate you watching this video. Again, this has been a video on guided functions for Volkswagen and Audi. And again, my name is Hawken, and I appreciate you watching. Please follow our YouTube channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. And thanks again.